guys, so it's time for lunch. I already had my bulletproof coffee and my water with lemon and apple cider vinegar, and I'm just gonna enjoy my lunch now. it's gonna be like eggy but no I do enjoy it yeah I'm kind of trying to overcome my carbohydrates binging I'm like very addictive to bread and all pasta kind of stuff so I think this is a good replacement so I added my calories into my um, uh, macro tracker I'm using chronometer and it's roughly 500 calories so I think that's pretty good for a brunch. After I finish that, we're gonna get ready and hit the store. We're gonna take you with us and show you our keto haul, as I promised. I already printed out my list and my list of uh, meals I wanna be making next week. So I think it's really essential that you plan your meals ahead of time. I always make a one week meal plan. So I can count my macros ahead of time and I get the groceries, just the one I need. And this time, this way, you're actually leaving almost no room for making mistakes and reaching out for unhealthy food. Not only that you will not reach out for bad food because you're not gonna buy one when you have your list, but you also don't overspend. And also if you're living in an RV like we do and you have a tiny fridge, you really don't have a space for another food there. So it's killing two birds with one stone. So I just wanted to show you what kind of recipes I came up with to make next week. So this is some of the ideas. I'm gonna bake a whole chicken and then make like three other meals with it. Eggplant lasagna, sesame almond, doodle ball. So I think guys, next week is gonna be really interesting and so you should definitely consider to subscribe to my channel that you don't miss those recipes. And this is the food shopping list I made based on those recipes, so all these ingredients I'm gonna need. Well, I can read it, so don't worry, I know, I don't have really the prettiest handwriting, but we'll do. Let's go food shopping. It's pretty challenging for tiny people. Well, work out. We gotta build that booty. Let's go. So first we're gonna hit Starbucks, we have some work to do and we wanna we like to chill there on the weekends for a little bit and then we're gonna hit all these. How's your day going today? So far so good, it's beautiful out today. Too hot. A little hot. Huh? It's like Britney Spears. Hot, kinda gross. It was so beautiful today, right? But look at it now. So beautiful day, babe, huh? <laughs> okay, guys, so there's our grocery haul for keto diet. So we got some cucumbers here. I'm gonna make eggplant lasagna, tomatoes, of course, some uh, avocado for good fats, some mushrooms, onions. I got heavy whipping cream. This marinara sauce, it has seven carbohydrates but four fibers, so it's not bad. Then we have this chipotle dressing, some asparagus, this whipping cream. Um, this whipping cream actually has uh, less than gram of sugar and one gram of carbohydrate for two tablespoons. So I'm gonna use it with this berries I got. 
I'm gonna heat them up a little bit in the microwave and top it with it as a dessert. Then I have sour cream, I have a brie cheese, I have these German Deutsche Butterkäse. I love those, they are really creamy, delicious. Whipped cream cheese, which I'm gonna have with salami. <laughs> and then we got two curry gold butter, mozzarella for some uh, keto bread, coconut oil, some broccoli, spinach, and two dozens of eggs. Some black forest ham for sandwiches and for cucumber boats. Then I got some chicken sausages and then Rob wanted a steak. Then I got some ground turkey for when I'm making eggplant lasagna. Then I got some bacon and then some uh, salamis which we like just uh, wrap with crackers and I like to put some spreadable cream cheese and just like a snack. And then as we showed you the chicken thighs, we really don't need them right now but there was a great price on them so we took them and the whole chicken. What's for dinner babe? Well, I sent my husband for ground beef and he brought me this huge top sirloin steak. So I guess switching up in a plan and I'm gonna marinate some steak for the barbecue. Well, we might not marinate because it seems like I just can't get into this steak without... Uh, God damn it, hurry myself. These scissors, I, I, yeah, I promise you that's the scissors fault. It has nothing to do with my hair color. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like seriously, these scissors go into the garbage. I'm gonna marinate it, but I'm gonna keep one piece inside for like stir fry or something, so because we can't eat all of that. I'm gonna marinate it with some little olive oil, some little soy sauce, ground black pepper, and salt will come when it's actually done because we want to keep all the juices in the meat. for about three hours to just give it a little rest and keep it marinating and we're gonna finish the grocery shopping and then I'm gonna prepare probably some asparagus with it and some other veggies we'll see so we still need to pick up a couple things they didn't have zucchini and they didn't have ricotta cheese for my eggplant lasagna so we still have to hit Walmart but uh, so far we spent around hundred dollars which is uh, normal for us uh, for um, the one week grocery shopping we still are gonna have a lot of leftovers there is a lot of meat which we definitely not gonna eat in one week so I think we did pretty good I just fixed myself some snack so I'll show you what I'm having I just made some of the Genoa salami and I uh, spread some little cream cheese inside and roll it up into like these cute little rolls. So I'm gonna have one and a half servings of that. That's roughly 200 calories and I'm gonna have a half of a big pickle with it. Okay guys, we're back. We finally finished all the food shopping and I wanted to show you I got myself a little treat. Yum! I love those, they're so amazing. <laughs> I really never thought in my life that I'm gonna be eating a pig skin, but I love it. So in a second, I'm gonna start the barbecue and show you what kind of great dinner we're gonna have. asparagus uh, with butter and a little lemon I put some just salt and pepper on it just very easy put it in the oil foil you really tightened it up and put it on a grill for about five minutes and then it's just ready and awesome What are you doing? Well, I left the camp, but every time I leave the house, oh, not the camper, I gotta spray myself with this toxins because I have the sweetest blood probably on like the earth. So if you would ever end up camping with me, but well, you don't have to worry because all the bugs, they're gonna eat me. Don't worry. Right through the pants. Now oh, you gotta get it good. Are we gonna cook the steak? I'm gonna try. <laughs> medium medium rare so I'm gonna be shooting for the 140 45 temperature inside and I'm gonna put the asparagus there I just showed you how to make it it doesn't really take long to cook and you want your grill temperature to be around 450 even 500 Fahrenheit 
So you want to take the steak out of the fridge about 20 minutes before you start cooking it, just to let it rest at room temperature. And we're gonna cook it approximately two minutes each side. So I'm gonna measure it. Here it is guys, perfect like a steak. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so I think the dinner went very well. It looks beautiful and it tastes even better. I'm probably gonna have um, a little dessert because I'm around 1000 calories, which is a little low. So I'm gonna eat this dessert and we're gonna just chill. <laughs> Easy. We're gonna either play video games or watch some some show on TV and hit the bed and I'll see you tomorrow. What you doing, Missy? Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Yeah, she's <laughs>